Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video on trade now and for this video I'm going to show you guys a very fun 5 minute scalping strategy that is able to use the MACD and the custom indicator to help you to show profit and if you guys are familiar with the crypto scalping youtuber his name is called uh, draw on crypto and he basically has created his own scalping indicator and i'm going to use it together with other indicators to help strengthen the strategy and show you guys that this is a very easy strategy to carry out so we'll be using two simple indicators for this video first up will be on the draw on crypto magdi scalping so search up draw on crypto you see this thing this indicator right here by draw on crypto 452 clicks you're gonna click on that and you can see that there are the this is basically the macd but instead it's a help to filter out a lot of the information and keep only the information that you'll be needing next up we'll be using the house suite indicator by in silico for this you're going to change a couple of things first time is the length to 60 and the length multiplier to 3 and helps to flatten everything out so these are the two indicators that you guys may be needing and with this we'll be using a risk reward ratio of 1.5 is to 1 but obviously since we are scalping on a 5 minute time frame you're going to be taking a lot of scalps so a lot of the times the fees will eat up a lot of your commissions so make sure to check out the exchange fair desk so if you sign up the link in the description box below you get a discount on your fees and the fees are as low as 0.02% so make sure to check the exchange out so let's get right into this video so obviously for this strategy no strategy can have a 100% win rate so be sure to accept losses but I'm going to show you guys how to take long positions and how to take short positions so for you to take a long position firstly price must be above the house suite like right here and the house suite must be green in color next up there must be a dark red or a bright red indication on the draw on crypto indicator so here we have an indication right here and that is our signal to go long so you guys may be wondering why are we entering when the signal is red it's because when we're in an uptrend there's pullbacks and you want to take trades on the pullbacks so this is how the strategy works basically when there's a red signal it means you're entering on a red candle wait for the candle to close and you enter when the signal pops up stop loss below the recent swing low which is right here we are going long and a 1.5 is to 1 and that will be a win so I wouldn't suggest you guys to take repeated positions that means if you guys are already in a trade I wouldn't suggest you to take another trade because it might fluke your risk management but if you take another trade right here and you put your stop loss right below the recent swing low it will be another quick 1.5 is to 1 scalp and it will be another winning trade so let me look for other positions no valid position here we have a valid position right here you can see that we have the price above the house suite and a down tick red down tick on the MACD so there is our signal to go long right there stop loss below the recent swing low 1.5 is to 1 and there we have a win so now I'm going to teach you guys how to go short and basically for a short position it is the same thing but you just flip it opposite so let me show you guys certain examples so price must firstly be below the house suite and the house suite must be red in color next up there must be a green indication on the MACD indicator and that's what we have right here so we're going to enter this position right here for your recent swing high this can be considered a swing high where the wick is so it's a relatively small stop loss and a 1.5 is to 1 so a quick scalp small scalp right there here we have another indication right here stop loss will be right above the recent swing high which is right there and a 1.5 is to 1 but unfortunately there will be a loss so obviously there will be losses but since you have a risk reward ratio of 1.5 is to 1 what does this mean this means that even if a 50% win rate you guys will still be profitable so let's look right here here we have another indication you see price is below the house suite and the house suite is red 
We have an uptick right there and we take that position. Stop loss right above the recent swing high right there. And a 1.5 is the one. Another winning position right there. Very nice. Let's look right here. We have the down tick. Stop loss is going to put the recent swing low. So in this case where it's kind of ambiguous, you're going to wait for a pullback and a pull up and you're going to put your stop loss right below the pull up right here which is your new swing low and take a 1.5 is to 1. So as guys can see, the strategy mainly uses following the trend and taking the pullbacks but obviously there are a lot of signals that won't work like right here where it won't work. So you guys might want to you end up in a loss right here so you guys might want to use your own market intuition and let's say it's very overextended it means it already go up quite a lot and there's a small not that much of a pullback you guys might want to let it pull back a bit more and wait for the red indication before you go long again and that's how you basically know what is uh, what when to take trades and when to avoid trades and also another thing is that you guys want to avoid markets like this so markets like these where it's ranging so you go up down up down and you clearly don't have a clear indication on where the trend is going it's very bad for this strategy and you guys can use other ranging market strategies but obviously for the strategy we are here for the movement up and movement down these trendy markets that will help us gain our profit so anyways thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and to check out my other videos as well and to uh, comment below what you guys want to see next so thank you guys for watching and goodbye